Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is John. I'm going to show you how to change colors for things. So first we're going to pick out a design. Go to Design Browser. And I already have one that I have all picked out. D8131, which is an embroidery library design. I'll double click on that. Uh, that's going to take a minute in my external drive and it needs to recognize that it's hooked up. So, okay, there. Now it's recognized it. It opened it. Down here at the bottom, bring that up just a hair, you can see that it's 1 through uh, 17 is the amount of uh, colors that it has. And let's see. Uh, so, I'm going to leave this the same size. If I wanted to change size, I'd go to Design, Change Size, and I always hit Center Design to make sure that it's centered. Uh, now to change colors, I'm going to do a view, realistic view, and I'm going to increase this up to 50%. Okay. Now, before we do anything, I have to get the color sheet which is D8131 is the design. So I'm going to go to Embroidery Library. Under this search, I'll put in D8131. Hit Enter. <coughs> I'll search Design. You know, bring it up. I'll double click on it. Halfway down, there's a color sh uh, change sheet. We'll click on that. On this color change sheet, I'm going to increase the size up to 125 so it's easy to read. Uh, it has 17 uh, color changes, uh, 11 colors. It tells you that it's a 40 weight rayon thread. And they have a thread exchange here, which I don't use. And then it also has a download PDF. If you want to download it in PDF, download in text file, you can do it that way or you can just print out this page. Uh, and then it has the 1 through 17 colors uh, in the order that you're going to be using them. Now what I did is I took a piece of paper and I wrote down the color numbers. I'll put down dark tan, 1144, uh, lime green, 1248, emerald green, 1101, purple, light purple, 1232. So I have those all that I need. Now I'll go back here, go to Tools, the second one down is Stitch Colors. Now it's on Robinson Anton at the current palette up on top. You need to click on that and you need to go down to the rayon so it's the same thread that uh, Embroidery Library is using. And then you have number one. You want to click on the box down here for number one because it will highlight your color. Once you click on that, you can go down here. You know that you need 1144. We'll click on this and we'll go down to the browns and see if we can find 1144, which is right there. We click on that, it changed it. Now we go to the next color, number two. Click on number two, and it'll highlight it. Takes a few seconds. And the second color is 1248, which is a lime green. So I'm just going to go up and see, let's see, where are my lime greens? There's some greens. Uh, nope, not bright enough. Let's see. Okay. We need 1248, right here, 1248, lime green. Do number three, the same way. Click on it. It'll highlight it. Number three is 1101. We know that's a green. It's a darker green. So let's go down to our darker greens. See if we can find an 1101. Uh, nope. Don't see it there. Is it up here? Yep. There it is, 1101. Click on 1101. It'll change it. Click on the purple. Number four. <coughs> that's 1232. So we go to the purples and we see if we can find a 1232. 
I don't see any 1232s, so I'm going to leave it 1080. And then the next one is number five. Number five is 1001. We know that's a white. Go in here. See if we can find a white. There's whites right there. 1001. Click it. Changes it to the white. Then click on the red. Click on the red down here in your blocks. And read the number, which is 1147. They have it 1037. Click on it. Go up. Oh, it's right there, 1147. And you keep on doing that until you have all 17 colors filled out. Now, the next thing I want to do, I'm going to minimize these two. I'm going to open up my Metro Threads. Click this back open. We have that there. We're going to bring up our Metro Threads. Now, our Metro Threads, you have a color palette here. We want the same color palette that they have, which is right here. Now, when I go here, 1144, I'll type in 1144, hit enter, and it'll bring up both of my, the closest color, which is uh, the top 8%. You double click on that, and it shows you how close it is. The next one would be top 12%. It's a little bit browner. I would go with the one that's closest and pick that one. Now, on here is your thread inventory. These are all the threads that I already have in my inventory. Now, if I want to add to stash, say that I bought more Metro Thread, I'd click on Add to Stash, and then I'd click on the numbers that I have, and I would just click on it, and I would add Selected, and that will add that to my stash. I don't have it, so I'm going to cancel this out. But that's how you add your threads to your stash. So when you go to your next color, which is 1248, I'll put in 1248, it'll bring up all the colors that I have that are close to that number. And right now I have three of them at the top 5%. 2259 is really close. And then you have 2237. And you pick the one that you think is closest, and you use the color that you want to use that is really close to it. And that's how you use the Metro Thread, and I really enjoy using that Metro Thread. And what I'll do is I'll set up all 17 colors in a row, and I'll put them on my thread stand, and I will just run them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way through up to 17 until my design's done. I always have my threads fully uh, set up. And the I don't do this changing all these blocks to the right colors. To me, it doesn't matter. What matters to me is having this and this and punching these numbers in here and having my 1 through 17 in order. And I use those colors from this chart that I converted with my Metro and I just have them in order. And having this, the right colors, really doesn't matter to me because I know 1 through 17, those colors are going to be right as long as I have them in order 1 through 17 that I did with my color chat from uh, Embroidery Library and my color converter from Metro Threads. Hopefully this has helped you learn something and hopefully you get something out of this video.